Hi, I'm Karen Chauvin, and I'm the founder of Enviro Integration Strategies, where we're reducing risks and creating value by improving waste management strategies within mining and introducing mining circularity. But today, I'm here to talk to you about a paper that was recently published in the CIM journal titled Risk Assessment for Tailings Management. I've been lucky enough to work with this fabulous team from Agnico Eagle uh, for the past couple of years, and the team includes Michael James, Michelle Julien, uh, Thomas Lapine, Edward Masengo, Pascal Lavoie, and Edwardine Ingebar. We set out in our work to produce a risk evaluation tool for tailings and mine waste infrastructure that would align with the Mining Association of Canada towards sustainable mining initiative, a risk-based approach, having board level accountability and transparent communications. We based our work on some foundational papers uh, that were written by Silva Lam and Marr on the probability and risk of slope failure, where you can see that they produced uh, relationships between the annual probability of failure and the factor of safety based upon the level of engineering that had been applied to each of the infrastructure. In our paper, we explain how we made some slight adaptations to those relationships and then um, expanded the list of criteria and included broader definitions of each of the criteria to allow an evaluation that included site investigation, materials testing, design and analysis, construction, operation and performance. I know one of the biggest differences in our work is that we include a large component of management structures and systems and policies and governance that are um, beneficial for uh, keeping the safety of these infrastructure. Now the fun part is that we get to see the results in the end. And so we get to see how when you look at a portfolio of results within an organization, how those uh, infrastructure compare to each other and how you might start to use this information to make some decisions on what work needs to be done. We also plotted the results against uh, the consequence ratings for each of the infrastructure. And again, you can see the different risk categories and help to communicate that to people who are not geotechnical engineers and don't quite understand all of those details. Once you've decided which infrastructure you'd like to uh, work on, you can drill down into the information to see where, uh, in fact, uh, some improvements can be made. So some really great results out of the work. We produced and validated the evaluation tool that was risk aligned, integrated within the systems and performance based. We also found through the evaluation that it was a very rapid implementation. Um, it was auditable results because we are compiling all of the necessary information in one place for others to uh, review. And the results again plotted out are great for communications. Now just an update on where things are at since we've written this paper is that we've been developing an app in the background, some software to um, facilitate others to use the tool and process. We're establishing some alignment with the global industry standard on tailings management. And I'll be looking for some next companies to pilot the process if uh, you're interested. Now, if you'd like to contact me to get any more information on the process itself, uh, my details are here, and you can also obtain a copy of the paper at the Taylor & Francis site under CIM Journal. Uh, just do a search for Volume 12 or for the journal article itself. There's also an extended presentation on the results of the work uh, in the CIM Academy online learning portfolio. Thank you very much.